I'm excited to share with you my latest acquisition for my vintage pattern collection. So I have a little haul for you. These are all Dolores of St. Paul. So I'm going to show you the patterns that I currently have that are from that same company. I actually have a few more that I can't find. So I'm going to show you my old ones. But first, let me show you the new ones. Got these off of Etsy from a seller who sells vintage things, but they don't really specialize in sewing. Um, so I, they, they just happened to have a a lot of Dolores St. Paul and the nice thing is they would have the same pattern but in three sizes because as a rule Dolores of St. Paul you got one size in the pattern envelope so the first one that I'm going to show you is this isn't this beautiful it is a slip gown um, that has sort of like a bralette at the top isn't that lovely and I managed to get it in size 32, size 34, and size 36. That's the bust size. They are calling this, I don't even know if this has a name. Nope. So anyway, isn't that lovely? What a beautiful, beautiful pattern. Very excited to try this one out. It's fitted in the front and sort of soft and flowy in the back. And I looked at it, I already peeked inside, and it's actually sort of a padded out bra, which is interesting. Um, and then I picked up just one of these. They only had one available of this, but it is an actual bra pattern. Very, it looks very vintage, doesn't it? Look very 70s. These patterns almost all came out 1969, 1970, 1971. At least all of the ones I own are within that three year period. I have been trying to do some research on this company. If you know anything about it, if any of you watching know anything about Dolores of St. Paul, I would love to know. Send me some info, put it down in the comment box. I would like to know more about it. Can't find anything while searching on the internet. Um, the next one that I got is this little um, petty pant panty. And it has a little gusset um, in it. Real straightforward little under, you could wear it as a slip or you know, like an un under slip or just as a panty. And I was able to get it in two sizes, which is a six and a seven, so pretty tiny. But at least I have it. I can easily grade up from here if I want to. Very cute. Um, it's really a straightforward, it's just, um, doesn't have a side seam. It's one of those, it's a, um, you just have a front and back seam in the gusset. So I'm excited to sew that one up. Then um, I got a couple more, I got another nighty. Look at this. I hope you can see it. See how it has the pretty lace down the front or it can be offset on the shoulder, sleeveless. And I just think that's, it's very pretty, very flirty, um, very vintage. And this is just called the Marie gown. And I got this in size 12, 14, 8, 10. This one's an 8 and 10 and a 12 and a 14. So those are good um, sizes. And then this is a bias cut slip. And it has a really pretty um, V shape here. You can see that sort of um, where the bust line attaches to the skirt and it has lots of um, directions for doing applique, little spaghetti straps. This one is called, it's just called Trico Full Slip and I got it in a size 34 and a 36. So these are all of my new patterns that they have. Only one of them, I'm just going to, let me find the one that had that on the front, this one. This one actually came with pattern instructions or um, like the yardage amounts on the outside. Most of them do not have it on the outside. It's, it's nowhere to be found. As a rule, I'm gonna open one up and show you what it looks like on the inside. Let me do the little petty pant because it's the least complicated. So here's this teeny tiny petty pant. It's just one pattern piece or one sheet of pattern paper. And it's heavier than the tissue. That's it, that's the whole pattern. Here's our directions over here. Here's the pattern. It gives a little illustration of where you would put your um, applique for your lace. And then there's the little gusset crotch piece. That's it. Very straightforward. You can tell that they were hand drawn, which I think is really cool. The directions here are hand drawn. I really like all of that. I just think that's really neat. 
So these will be coming up in a first of the month when I do my sleepwear lingerie. You'll be seeing some more Dolores of St. Paul. Um, I'm hoping to put out similar patterns. I'm really working on um, drafting patterns and making them into PDF, and I'm learning a lot. It's I, If I were just drawing them and could take them to a printer, I could do it really fast because I can draft my own patterns easier than I can learning it to do on the computer, but I'm learning, growing, stretching my brain. So hopefully I'll have some similar things coming out for you, but it may be a few months down the road. Let me show you uh, my Dolores of St. Paul. Some of these you probably have, I've not made up, but I have a couple for children. They had great children's patterns. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic. Some of these are sort of delicate, but here's a little girl's panty. Um, this is two, four, six, and eight, so little, little bitty girls panty. And I always buy these little zippy bags to keep my vintage patterns in because it protects them. And then I know I've used this one before. This one is um, a child's little slip and petty pant. And I remember making this for my girls. This has actually got other stuff down in it. I'm looking to see. Oh, it's cut out. This was in there when I bought it, because I would never have sewn this. It's just one, of, one pattern piece. Looks like a spotted, one of those spotted horses. <laughs> so, I should take that out. That's probably not good for the pattern. But I'll show you what the pattern looked like. This is one that was cut and used when I got it. So here's the little, there's the little petty pant for a, for a little one or a little sleep short, that sort of thing. So those are the two children's that I have um, from Dolores of St. Paul. I have other children's patterns, but most of them are quick sew and stretch and sew. And then I also have a petty pant for us grown-ups, and I'm pretty sure I have sewn this. I, in fact, I sure I am. So I will put a little eye card up for this one. I've made this up before. And I remember, so look at how fragile it's all coming apart. This one is a 1971. This is as old as I am. So great pattern. I have used it. I do not cut these. I uh, trace them all off and, and to preserve the integrity of the original pattern. So nothing gets cut once they belong to me. And then this one you will recognize. I've made this a few times. I'll put an eye card up. So do you remember this one? I made it in a, um, I did like a baby doll nighty. with this and then I did a beautiful robe. So I've made this a couple of times. I'll put some pictures up and some eye cards and some down in the description if you want to sew along or see what those look like. And here's my big envelope with all the traced off pieces in it for me. And I have this pattern I have just loved and used it very much and it is it's a winner winner chicken dinner. And even though it's um, a medium because it takes so much fabric, like it's so full. If the medium fits you, it really hangs off the shoulder. The medium fit my shoulder fine, and I can wear it. So, great pattern. Okay, that's the end of my Dolores of St. Paul haul, and I will see you next week for another fun video. I just made, I wanna share with you a new vintage pattern haul. Let me say that again. I want to share with you a vintage panther. <laughs> I'm excited to share with you a vintage pattern haul. Why is that so hard to say? Vintage, vintage pattern haul. Vintage pattern haul. I'm struggling with it.